Welcome back to Curl Up with Jamie. Thanks again for tuning in. I know this past week has been pretty crazy for me at least. I've done a couple interviews and just to clear things up, uh, during my first interview they asked me a little bit about how I got into the sport of curling and at what age I started curling and I said from what I knew is that I started when I was 10 years old but then after the fact my mother informed me that I actually started curling when I was 8 years old. So in my second interview, that's what I said, that I started curling when I was eight. From now on, setting it straight, I'm splitting the difference and we're going with nine. So if anybody asks, I started curling when I was nine years old. <laughs> so other than those interviews, I've been practicing a lot, getting mentally and physically prepared for the national championship coming up. And at the start of every practice, I personally like to work on my balance. So we're gonna head over to the Mantic Curling Club and I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. If you want to be able to throw the big weight hits like this, then there's three things that you guys need to know. I think you need to have good balance, good line of delivery, and a good release. And today, we're going to be focusing on just balance. So when you first learn how to curl, it's perfectly normal to, be, to want to put weight on both your broom and the rock in order to stabilize yourself. But don't do that. <laughs> when you come out of the hack, if you have all your weight on top of the rock, when you go to release, it's going to be unpredictable which way it's going to go in. You can push it out one way or out the other. So how do you get good balance? What do you need to practice? Well, there's a couple different drills that you can do. To start off, you can practice pushing out of the hack with a broom in one hand and pretending that you have a rock in the other. Just short little slides, trying to keep your throwing hand up off the ice. As soon as you guys get comfortable with that, the next step is to get rid of the broom. So you'll be pushing out of the hack with no broom and no rock. Once again, you want to make sure that you keep your arms in the position where they normally would be and don't have them touch the ground. Start off slow because it will be a little bit scary at first but once you get more comfortable, you'll be able to push out harder. Don't be afraid if you fall, happens to the best of us. <laughs> also, if you turn your sliding foot out slightly, you'll have a wider base and that helps with your balance. To be a successful curler these days, you have to be able to throw the big weights and that's not possible if you don't have good balance. So I really recommend that you work this into your practice. Even if you just do a couple of these at the start of each practice, you'll really notice an improvement and you'll be able to throw more confidently towards the broom. Hopefully that helped and you guys learned something new. Next up on Curl Up With Jamie, it's going to be a video blog during the national championship in Kalamazoo. So thanks again for watching and don't forget to subscribe. What did I say? Oh, <laughs> I meant really. Scratch that. <laughs> and pretending that you have a rock in your other end. Other end. <laughs> so do as I say. <laughs> so in my second interview, I said, that I started, oh, frig off. I've done a couple of interviews lately, and just to, come on. Other than those, oh my gosh.